Hello beautiful people and welcome back again to OnHow channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in the comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And you already know, if you have any questions too, make sure to drop them below. I will be happy to make a video for you as well. Same as this one actually. This is a request again and one of my subscribers, he did ask me how can I hide product titles on a specific collection not all on all the collections just on one specific collection or two specific collections and here you go you got your video in this video i will show you how to completely hide the product titles on a specific collections and yes i didn't say one collection but two collections so in this video i will show you how to hide those titles on two collections of your choice so you will actually specify the collection you want to hide the title on and the other collections, they will not actually have the title for the products hidden. So no worries. And as you can see, I have Shopify dashboard in here and this is the last versions of down team, which is the 15 as of now, as of the time we're talking. And I have other teams as well. As you can see, I have uh, Taste, Sense, Refresh, Spotlight and Trade, which is the most used ones, the free ones. So every trick I do share on my channel, I do actually test it on all of these teams to make sure it works for every team. So whenever you're using a free team, this should work for you. And if you are using some paid team, pay me too. Why are you paying the developers and asking me <laughs> to make a trick? Come on, pay me and I'll show you how to do that. I'm just joking. I don't have access to premium teams, but you should ask the support for that. But let's just quit talking and show you how to hide the products. I mean, product cycle on a specific collection. So let's just access some collection from here. Let's just access tech accessories. As you can see, every product has the title in here. So uh, how this will be shown is basically no title, just the pricing below the pictures. So we will do that for two uh, collections not just one so the first thing you're going to do is obviously access Shopify dashboard then click on the three dots on left of customize and click on edit code it will take you to the code editor and then you're going to use the search bar in here and search for team dot liquid just like you see on the screen here you see a file called team dot liquid simply click on it then we need to find the specific section on this file you don't have to like make your eyes dizzy by looking all this cold and doing like this no worries simply if you are on windows click on Control f i'm on a mac i'm going to click on command f and it will show me this prompt right here and by the way make sure you click on the code then do this so it will show you the search for the code editor not for chrome or whatever browser you use so in here you need to type in uh, forward slash or slash i don't know what difference between them and then head just like this simply hit enter and here we go this is the section we need to find then the next thing you're going to do is because we need some space in here because we're going to pass some code so we need space there is no space between script and head let me close this here we go so we, to create space simply click on the uh, front of script here and simply hit enter by hitting enter it will give you some space then the next thing you're going to do is obviously scroll down the description box then click on the link can name it as code and it will take you to this page right here where you're going to see a very short call that will do the trick and it's special call you will see so simply uh, select the whole code in here then right click and copy make sure to select the whole thing if you missed just this or something like that closing bracket will not work so uh, make sure to select the whole thing then get back to the code editor and simply paste it in the space that we did create and in here let me show you on the black background it's better so in here, as you can see, between those uh, two quotes, it says collection handle here. And there is another one that says your collection handle. So this is where you're going to pass in the handle for your collections. So let's just start with the first one. So let's just uh, get back in here. And as you can see, it says collection dash handler. Handle, sorry. So the handle is, let me show you this is the collection as you can see we did access it and there from here earlier you see uh, shopify.com collections slash tech dash accessories this is the handle the one that's front of collections so make sure to select the handle 
for the collection you want to do the trick on right click then copy and simply get back in here and replace collection handle and make sure you keep the quotes between the handle just like this and let's just see the first one if it works then we do the second trick so simply hit save and we get back in here as you can see there is titles for the product so let's just reload the page Ta -da! titles are gone as you can see no more titles so only the pictures and the pricing as you can see for the products but if i did access some other one like uh, jewelry for example still have the uh, title for the products as you can see so if you want to implement the trick on this one as well really simple simply select the, the handle which is jewelry it's written differently not sure why anyway simply copy it get back in here and replace the second your collection handle and make sure you keep the quotes between the word otherwise it will not work so click on the save button and if we go back in here reload the page titles are gone as you can see simply the pricing and the picture and that's how you hide the product title on some specific collections only for your shopify store without using any apps or anything like that and if you have any questions make sure to drop them below otherwise i take my job but it's done so thanks for watching catch you on the next one